Welcome to the ninth annual Big Buzz Awards here at the Park Plaza in Antrim, the mecca of entertainment for Northern Ireland. And tonight we'll see such celebrity luminaries as Pete from Big Brother, some guys who used to be in Brookside, and a former Ulster Shock Jock, Joe Ferguson. Yippee! So with such a celebrity talent waiting for me, I better get in and interview someone. have a host for tonight. Well, Joe Ferguson apparently wasn't available, so they asked Robin instead. <laughs> That's what I found out. Apparently it was Frank Mitchell, actually, and uh, Frank was £20 more expensive than me, so they went for me. But, you know, this is the ninth year of the Buzz Awards, and I've been working here, and all I can say is, it's about time they asked me to host the thing. Now, Robin, <laughs> clearly a little bit of energy flowing through those veins. You're going to be on stage soon. You are having to share the limelight, but if you had to share the limelight with anyone, it's not a bad co-host, is it? You know, I wouldn't want to share the limelight with anybody apart from the gorgeous Miss Great Britain, Gemma Garrett, who is stunning, but it just worries me, all the costume changes. Apparently, we're going to have seven costume changes, and it takes her a while to get in and out of the dresses. Does she need help? Well... I think she does, wow. and I hope somebody does go to help her, because if they don't, I could be left standing on stage filling for quite a bit tonight. I will be happy to help her, and I want you to make that note. I'll, I'll tell her, I'll tell her in a minute, yes. You may have to fill, that's true. What about you changing? You could change your tie seven times. I was going to change, but uh, do you know what? I couldn't be bothered. I've got the stress of the show tonight. I am performing the new single, The Ballad of Lucy Jordan, as well, so it's a busy, busy... Talk night. us through the outfit. Come on, Robin. You're looking more stylish than I've seen you in a long time. The outfit? I stole this outfit yesterday afternoon from a brand new fabulous shop in the city centre of Belfast DV8 have just opened a lovely gorgeous new store shameless plug shameless plug so a uh, thank you to uh, Kelly and all the lovely people at DV8 for supplying me with this uh, lovely suit tonight shameless plug shameless plug oh, there you go who did your hair who did your tie no I don't want to know I don't want no it's not no it's not he's not he's not allowed to thank you Kerry Chantel and everybody else down at Michelle International right, well they better get mine sorted out right, okay so you need sorting out. I know I do, so you do. How you doing? You all right? Good? Okay, um, this is the Crumlin News Award for the favorite event of the year, and the nominees are Planet Love, <laughs> Glasgow Berry, not Glastonbury, Glasgow Berry, Open House Festival, City of Derry Jazz and Big Band Festival, and Country Fest. And the winner is Planet Love. Right, all right, my name's Stuart McQuitty, and I'm now with a guy called Chris Mochrie. <laughs> He's in a show called The Royal at the moment, but he used to be in something called Brookside. It's like um, a lot of people over here from Brookside. Chris, thanks for coming here. You're welcome. How are you? I'm doing all right, like, but uh, you've been here before, haven't you? Hey, I've been to the Big Brother Awards for about four years. And, oh, that accent's awful, isn't it? Come on, let's just go back to normal. All right, I'll go to my normal accent. Okay, cool. You've been to the Big Buzz before, haven't you? I've been to the Big Buzz now for about four years, to be honest. Um, about four years, yeah. So this is my fourth year. I've been three times before. There you you know, when I saw you walk in, I actually thought, wow, they've got Rex from Big Brother. I know. Rex and Big Brother. I'm better looking than that, come on. <laughs> yes, and, because and, he's uh, been in the press. I huh? normally get Prince Harry. That's what I normally get. It's right enough. I know, thank you. Now you're saying it. Yeah, yeah, bow towards royalty. Bow come on, well now you've got to. Yeah, thank you. Now you've got to do the royal accent. Come exactly. on, if you can do a liberal accent. No, of course. So, you know, I, I, you know, I, I thank my father. I thank my mother. And Stuart, you, you're a dashing boy. You yeah, know, absolutely. Where's yeah. this from? This blue little tie. Well, I actually stole it off uh, one of the fags at Eton. <laughs> oh, those fags. <laughs> yes, I did. Nominees are Brian Kennedy, <laughs> Stephen Nolan. You are giving out an award, I'm guessing. Yeah, I'm doing um, Best Male Performer, apparently. You're going to perform? No, I'm doing Best Male Performer. Today. What does performer mean? Because that sounds like a striptease in my head. Yeah, in your head, because you go to lap dancing bars, that's why. Yeah, but, well, in, male in, ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you like to see a male strip? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Bow, wow, wow. I'm a joke, we know. No, no, do it. No, but I have stripped before. 
I've got a really good bum, actually. Da, 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 da. Well, get it out. You can't see it through the, the trousers. Get out. I'm sure they won't mind. No, is it? Is it? Hi, Mum. <laughs> I'm going to jump yeah, in. Hi, Mum. He's great. He's honestly... He's no, 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 person. honestly. No, but yeah, yeah. Um, I think performers, uh, anyone's a performer who can entertain someone, that's, that's basically what it is. That's what we're trying to do right now. You're, you're a performer? You're entertaining people at home? I, I like to hope this? so. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. The 10 people watch. No, yeah, I no. do. I like to think of myself as an entertainer. Good stuff. Performer. I think you're good. I think you've got the voice, you've got the charisma. I think you can go far. Well, I, I think so too. And the winner is for best male performer is Peter Corey. Thank you very much. Have enjoy the rest of your night and good luck to everybody else that's not here. It's great to be joined on stage by the gorgeous Miss Great Britain. Give it up for Gemma Garrett. Thank you very much. Hey, once again, we've been on the celebrity hunt and we've come up with Gemma Garrett. She's the host of tonight's show and the current Miss Great Britain and dabbled with politics. I know, it's a, a big CV. What's a blonde model doing in politics? No, you didn't have to say blonde. That's very offensive. Oh, you do dye your hair then? <laughs> What's its natural colour? <laughs> it is actually fair. Okay. Um, yeah, the politics, I, I was a student two by-elections and um, when I became Miss Great Britain, I, I wanted to do something different from a year and not just be a normal, um, you know, Miss Great Britain and Grace and the lads' mags or whatever. I wanted to do something different and um, the by-elections come up and I, I stood on policies that were close to my heart. Good for you. Show it how it's done. Now, obviously the Miss Great Britain thing is, a, you know, it's a big, big achievement for a girl, especially from here. Have you been living in England to, to get that or how, how does it work? I was working in London um, modelling and then I entered the competition and I have been commuting back and forth but I'm mostly based in London. Based in London, I'm doing a lot of work over there. Is it, what sort of modelling is it, may I ask? Um, well, I wouldn't... It's not top shelf modelling. Oh, I'm going to hit you. Is it? <laughs> of course not. I'm a, I just I'm wanted to know. Britain. I'm not even allowed to um, depose in, in certain lingerie, you know, if it's too risque. So they're very, very strict. I would be sacked. I'm, I'm supposed to be an ambassador, so of course won't be doing any of that modelling. Now, tonight you're doing the hosting with yeah. Robin Elliott. Um, are you expecting any sort of special things going on, any tricks, any anything you're going to do up there that's going to make people think, wow, Gemma Garrett's one heck of a host? Um, apart from Fallen, no. Should I have tricks? Oh, my God, should I have some tricks? Normally they do, like, a magic trick or a song or a dance, and it's always sprung on the host. I thought I should mention it now. OK. Um... Maybe you should start thinking about this, Gemma. OK, yeah, well... Is there anything you can do? Uh, yeah, well, I, you know, I'm a gymnast, so I can maybe do something like that. A gymnast? Yeah. You can do the splits? I can, oh, yeah, I can do the splits, but I can maybe do, like, a, a back crawl or something like that, if that would suit everyone. It might be inappropriate, but do you want to do it now? No, it's OK. I need to warm up. I'll let you know. I'll come and get you when I've warmed up. Later, we'll check <laughs> back with you, yes? Yes, so of course. So a back crawl later. Or whatever you want. Do you want a front crawl or, you know... Do you want a back flip? There's a lot of things I want, Gemma. Most of them I can't say on the camera right now, but I will get back to you later. Okay. Are you staying here tonight? I am indeed. Excellent. We'll see you later. I'm very sorry for letting you down this morning. Well, you can make it up to I me. Hope the back crawl will make it up to you. And some, yeah, okay. Gemma, have a good night tonight. Thank good luck. You so much. Thanks very much. I travel around the world searching for the guy who will put me on the highest time. joined by a genuine celebrity here and someone with immense talent. Don't get in a fight with him, even though he's small. Hiya, Paddy. Paddy Barnes, Olympic bronze medalist. How does that sound when people say it to you? Ah, oh, it sounds amazing. Like, there's, uh, even if somebody called me an Olympian, it's, it'd be amazing, but bronze medalist just tops it off. And you'd obviously competed in many events before, maybe world championships and, and amateur stuff. Was the Olympics still greater than all of those? Yeah, but 
I always thought the World Champions were bigger, and just, just until two months before the Olympics, I didn't really know what they were. I, I didn't really care. The poses around the camp. Um, yeah, we're going to all going to the Olympics now. I thought it was a, it was brilliant, like. But once I got in the uh, Olympic village, it just blew me away. It was just superb. Did you become starstruck? Because I imagine that something like that, someone like yourself, boxing, although it's a high-profile sport, no one really knew who you were before you went. Whereas you've got stars like you know Roger Federer in tennis, and you've got um, guys from well, all sort of the athletics. You know those? Did you did you meet? Or were you starstruck by anyone? Yeah, like, it was, it was my, I was like, I didn't know who I am anymore. Like what? Okay, I watched some TV, I heard about them, but walking past them, I just I never recognised them. But I remember getting um, breakfast with John Frank Ozola, sitting getting breakfast and talking to him. I only caught on who he was about 10 minutes into breakfast. It was, it's mad, like. But, but you get bored out the way, you know, you're trying to focus on your own game, like. Yeah. And athletes are running about. It's, but it's, it's just great to be in and a crowd like that. Now you're here tonight at Northern Ireland's biggest entertainment awards, the Big Buzz Awards, number nine. So are you going to be getting an award tonight? Hopefully, like, yeah. I'm in the running for it and there's Darren Clark, David Healy, Peter Springer, Alex Higgins. It's all good names, you know, so it's, it's good to be on a list. Well, I'm just looking around to see if I can see any of those guys you've mentioned and strangely enough, I can't see them, Paddy. Well, Could that tell us something? I hope they don't show up so I take the award, you know. We're all scared. Yes, well, if you challenge him to a fight, I mean, that's the thing. Someone might look at you and think, oh, he's just a wee lad, we can take him on. Bang, down with one punch. Hopefully. How big a guy could you knock out in one punch? Well, you're a bigger dummy, let's see if I can knock you out. <laughs> let's, let's, definitely, let's not do that. Um, I would say I have a glass jaw, Paddy. It wouldn't be the, wouldn't be the toughest guy. But if you're just standing, you know, what what do you weigh? What's your fighting weight? Um, seven and a half stone. Seven and a half stone. So if you're seven and a half stone and a guy, let's say, is a rugby player, he's a 17 stone rugby player, if you're just standing, boom, crack him, would he go down? Uh, I don't know, I don't know. Well, you don't probably want to find out, but, you know. I don't know. It's probably are, I'd say, aye. Why not, sure, aye. If you hit someone in the right place, they go down. Like definitely, in the temple or the jaw, you're, you're going down. Especially if you hit by me. <laughs> <laughs> Good man. Paddy, listen, what, what about the future? Are you going to turn pro? Are you going to stay amateur for a while? What's, what's happening? I'm just going to stay amateur till next next Olympics. Not that, I'm going pro. Good man. Listen, Paddy, good luck. Gold next time. Definitely. Definitely. I think it was the word first, first. But yes, exactly. Get the award tonight and then the Olympics in four years. <laughs> no problem. Cheers. Good luck to you, Paddy. Thank Cheers. You. And the winner of the Michael Flanagan Award for the best sports personality is our Olympic bronze medalist, yeah. Paddy Barnes. Yeah. Oh, I just want to say it's brilliant to get the award. It's, it's probably better than Olympic bronze. <laughs> no, it's brilliant just to be um, nominated along the likes of the names of David Healy and Darren Clark and Peter Springer. And of course, Alex Higgins, the greatest secret player in the world. But um, I suppose I'm bad on for getting the, um, the Buzz Awards. <laughs> you old man. Oh, bless you, darling. This is the star, I think, of the show potentially tonight. The world famous. <laughs> we don't need to see the bald head just yet. Let's talk to the young man here. This is work experience, boy. A lot of people wonder what you look like. You're now revealed tonight. How do you feel? Revealed to the public. Yeah. Brought, I've let out of the vault for one night only. Stuart has left you off the chain, or are you actually still chained to him? I'm still tied to him there at the foot. So if, if he needs a drink, you still have to go to the yeah, bar? I've got the electronic tag on, so I can't leave the, the, the premises this evening. Right, OK. Now, you are genuinely up for an award. Tell us about that. Yeah, it's the uh, EasyJet Award for Media Personality of the Year. <laughs> or Radio Personality of the Year. Sorry, yeah, I, come I on, don't get above without, yourself. I have to try to laugh, uh, uh, try not to laugh what I said. So Radio Personality of the Year. Now, obviously, you've been doing the show with Stuart. How did it come about? Stuart, let's bring you in as well, actually. It'd be easier. Because um, he, he's a bit getting a bit tongue-tied here. Now, Stuart, you are his... Mentor, his hero, his boss, his everything. No, 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 hang on, I like that. His hero, I like that one. I like hero. Yeah, I like that one. Hero. How did it all work? How did the dynamics start? He owes everything to me, and if if I collect the award tonight, I will of course mention him on my acceptance speech. Oh, really? That's very kind of you. You're very welcome. Are you, are, are you against each other? No, no, not at all. But I mean, it's, it's clearly my award. It may well have his name on it, but it's my award. <laughs> yeah, I've been out. Uh, at different functions in Northern Ireland. And the question most often asked is, who is work experience boy? <laughs> it's true. Well, there you go. And I mean, that's, that's as much as... Dun, 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 dun. We need a fanfare now. <laughs>
<laughs> wow. <laughs> so, are you going to win? Do you think you win? Oh, well, I don't like to speculate, but yes. We have two winners for the EasyJet Award for the best radio personality who can be joined in the voting system. And they are Malky Kush, various radio channels, and work experience for yeah. City Beat. Yes! Thank you very much indeed. This uh, award is wow. uh, as much mine as it is mine. No. Like experience boy. It, 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 uh, thank you very my much. Name, my name's Anna. Let's say Monica Kush has got one as well. Don't forget yeah, my experience name's on this one. Uh, do you know, uh, three months ago when we started the afternoon drive on City Beat, we thought it'd be quite quirky to see if us guys in commercial radio could beat the ass off the BBC with their big millions of pounds of pension <laughs> that we don't have at uh, the commercial sector. And we wanted to see if people power uh, still existed in Northern Ireland and if enough people got onto the website and voted this young man <laughs> <laughs> the media personality of the year. Could it be done? It has been done. Tonight we present him to you the first time in public. Here's what he looks like, ladies and gentlemen, work experience boy. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Lisa, you're singing tonight. You're from. So weird to call me Lisa because when I was born, I was actually called Lisa for three months, and then they changed it to Laura. <laughs> That's so smooth. Wow. Yeah. I mean, you can. It's almost. Wrong. Yeah, it's almost like I knew you in another. You knew. I did. So, Lisa, tell me, what's it like <laughs> going to be performing tonight? Um, what's it like going to be performing tonight? Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's you know, it's. it's Are you nervous? <laughs> Not at all. I just love it, you know. It's it's. Uh, I've been singing in pubs since I was 16, since I left school. So it's just. Uh, so how come you're here at an awards thing if you're a pub singer? Um, I was a pub singer. Um, since then, I've gone on to, to bigger things. Um, I've toured the arenas four times in the UK and Ireland. Um, just finished with Boys Own. Just finished with Boys Own. Yeah, it wasn't working out. And uh, Sugar Babes. Uh, yeah, low she and dumped her. <laughs> yeah, don't ask. Uh, Ray Quinn, little Ray Quinn, who yes, you know, and. Um, and uh, who else? Deacon Blue. Talked with them. They were a good laugh. Ricky's lovely. Um, I just say look out for this one because I was there at Ray Quinn's um, events at the Empire in Liverpool and Laura was on. Absolutely fantastic. One to look out for for the future, by the way. So, Laura, oh yeah, Joe, add, add your, add your. Sorry, yeah. can, can I just say that I'm so sorry I brought a date tonight because, um, <laughs> good God. Because I'm on my own. <laughs> have, you, have you got a kid? Uh, no. No stretch, stretch marks. Happy days. Well, hey! Hang on, can we see more of that? He's actually gutted that he's brought a date, but he's made up that she's not from Ireland, so she'll <laughs> never see this. Well, that is actually good news. So, li literally, you're here and there's no man with you tonight. Single soldier. Yeah. Why? Now, are you attracted by celebrity or by guys who think they might be because they're TV presenters? I'm attracted by guys that like to go out and work for a living and can adore me. I adore you? Yeah. Princess complex? No, just I, you know, I just think you know I'm a good lass, so I think it needs. Not trying. To Stephen wants to come not on. Trying to say anything, but I've worked in a chip shop, I've worked in a fruit and veg shop, I've worked on the milk, I've put the hours in. Right, okay, he's mine. See ya. <laughs> okay, thanks very much, Stephen and Laura. Well, there you go. Oh, Like you were the only man Yeah, I give you everything that I want to possibly can Each time I tell myself I think I've had enough Well, I'm here to show you, baby And the winner of the Common News Awards for the Fever Gay Theme Night is Candy Love of Pepe's in Derry City. 
Here she comes. There's an awful lot of carpet on this floor. I take it we don't have to dance in carpet later, do we? Anyway, it's fabulous to be here tonight, and it's actually even better that a drag queen has come to accept an award tonight, don't you think? Something a wee bit different. Anyway, it's uh, Peppies have accepted an award now for the last, I think, five years, but this is the first time that um, we've got something for a theme night. So um, I'm actually delighted that I've been uh, here to accept it tonight. So thank you very much, and thank you very much for everyone who voted. And um, everyone enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you. Who are you with then? You said you brought a date. Where is she? Uh, or she, he? She, she, oh, come on. It could just be. Just because I give the gay award doesn't, doesn't well, mean. Yeah, but you've also a bald head, you know. You're quite well groomed. You're qu relatively well dressed. Yeah. Well, look at you. I know. By the way, nice, nice threads. Thanks. I have to say. And you're doing a very good job. Can I just say, this is the first time I've actually met this guy, and I like him already. No, he's quite he a good is, guy. He is very good. I've heard you on the radio, I have in the past, and you're the only person who I felt gave dead air quality. And by that I mean, I heard you pause on air for at least five seconds, maybe longer, maybe ten. And you can, you can correct me if I'm wrong. But I actually thought it was poignant. It had a point to it. And I've never heard dead air be interesting until I heard you. Well, God bless you. I'm the type of person that just goes on and I'm natural. and Well, hopefully I'm natural and it comes across that way. So if there's dead air, it's just me thinking or looking for something. So, And, yeah, and I don't mean dead air in a negative way. I mean it actually in a positive way. Like the viewers, or the listener, I should say, is waiting to hear what you're going to say next. And no one's going to switch over because it's the train of thought, just like you said. I'm an aspiring uh, radio presenter. I actually just landed a breakfast show on a, on a, on a particular station. Where? Very small one, very Where? small one. Where? We, we can't say it on there. Oh, you can't? Come on. Right. It's only BFBS radio. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing hey. wrong at all. I like it. Up in Lisburn? Yes. You've got, you got, uh, you got to keep the soldiers happy. You know what I mean? Yes. Don't worry about it. The, you, the troubles are gone. We're all here. We're all there for you. We're Get all... them out of Iraq. Get them out of Iraq. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you. war message. Fair enough. A lot of people speak out about that. What are your thoughts on those, uh, Joe? Would you have a lot of political opinions you'd bring to radio, or do you have to tone it down? Uh, well, that's why I'm no longer working in this country, you see. Why do you come back to the Big Buzz Awards every year? Do you, do you feel you owe something to the awards? I mean, do, is it good to see them here, and, and do you always support them? Totally. It, it, it's Barry and Jenny. When, whenever I, I started, ba Barry and Jenny saw something that, that I, I, I didn't even see, and, and the Big Buzz magazine was just starting out. And they contacted me when I was when I was working at Cool FM, and they said, "You know what? We think you're funny. We think you're you, you, you think you're you're a breath of fresh air." That was their words. And then when everything started to kick off, I, I was actually starting to feel very uncomfortable with it. And they they took me to one side and actually showed me the ropes. So they were the ones who told me, "Play the game, but be yourself." So I will always be uh, grateful to them for, for 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 what they've done. Big love, then. Big love going out right now. Barry and Jenny. Barry and Jenny, they're like Aunt and Dick. You can't tell the difference between the two. I like you, dude. <laughs> Cheers, yeah. for the elusive creature that is the work experience boy. Where is he? He's at the bar. Work experience boy! They'll be making jingles about you. They'll be singing your praises. Sure, yeah. You're the winner. Well, you know, I, I, I'm actually going to have to go now and calm down. Give us your title. Come on. It's uh, the favourite radio personality. 
in Northern Ireland. In Northern Ireland at the EasyJet Big Buzz Inter Irish Entertainment Awards. For a work experience boy. Not bad going, eh? <laughs> it's not bad. When you started work experience some 12 years ago, did you ever expect this could happen? It wasn't 12 years ago. I'd been five. But uh, no, I could never expect this. It's all down to Scott Stewart Robinson with all his canvassing, can we call it? <laughs> so even though he gives you a great slagging on the radio, you two are great friends? Oh, I love him. I love Stewart. It's you, a love you, you, relationship. You, you, you owe everything to him? Not everything. There's a, there's a wee bit of talent maybe there, you know. I don't like to brag, but there's a little bit of talent there. <laughs> so well done. That means that you can now display that proudly. I imagine Stuart and you will be talking about this next week on your show. Oh, I will be rubbing it in. He's only award nominated. I'm award winning. <laughs> and what are you going to do with the rest of the night? Uh, I'm going to go home and sleep because I've got an early start in the morning. Are you going to reveal your real name? No. <laughs> Very disappointing, but well done. Thanks very much. Work experience, boy! In a white suburban bedroom, in a white suburban town, as she lay there beneath the covers, dreaming of a thousand lovers, till the world turned to orange, and the room went spinning round! we've got to ask you how'd it go it was great i enjoyed that the audience seemed to like it so let's hope we shift a few copies off it now definitely and is it for charity it is all for charity it's for shine a light uh, kids with cancer charity so please go out there buy it it's for a good cause and it's a good fun song isn't it i mean it's a good song you can dance to and you can have a bit of a laugh almost at your expense but also in a, in a sort of for charity way it is it's a great song and i've always loved the marianne faithful version i loved the original shell silverstein wrote it dennis the and dr hook recorded it and now i'm doing it as well so i'm in good company you really are you've got more to do though robin <laughs> i better not keep you back i know i've got to go back on and present the next award so i better leave you now and go back on. good luck and the winner of the Jets Award for Best Female Performer is a lady who you've just heard. Put your hands together for Lumen. Oh, wow. Gosh, I can't believe I was expecting that at all. Oh, wow. Thank you very much. Um, well, all I can say is I can't wait to get to Belfast again. <laughs> it's amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Luan Parr and Mickey Montel. I have to say, it's been an absolutely amazing night. Um, we were here last year as well, and it was fantastic. So we knew we were going to be in for a good one. Um, but yeah, I wasn't expecting to win the award at all. Um, I was actually, I just finished performing, and I just got off the stage. So I was there outside wrapping up the cables, you know, for my guitar. <laughs> Because I don't have anybody to do that for me, <laughs> and um, I know. Get the dinosaur. No, the okay, we're not going. <laughs> sorry, yeah. we're not going to go there again. So, uh, so I was completely shocked, um, and um, obviously. When you say shocked, and yeah. I do want to press you on this, mm -hmm. simply because I've had a couple, and why not? Yeah. Who out of the other nominees are here? Well, Laura, she's amazing. She was she performed after me, uh, and just before I, I came up, actually, I checked her out. MySpace, big MySpace fan, um, and uh, yeah, she's great. She's fab tonight. Um, so Laura was in the same category, um, so yeah, it was it was great. It was really really great. It's, well, it's nice to win an award yeah, because it is. it is a little bit of validation for what you do, or is it just something to help the PR? Oh, I know, of course. I mean, it's just it's like you know, because I do what I do. I love what I do. Um, and you're gonna have you, are you getting thirsty? Yeah, I'm actually. Are you? Yeah. 
<laughs> um, and so it's just it's really nice then of course you know everybody everybody loves to win awards so um so it makes it worthwhile as well yeah and your outfit's pretty cool tonight it's it's rather different yeah it's kind of to me and i know nothing about fashion i'll admit it but to me it's like a 60s retro yeah, yeah. hippie chick kind of par love peace free was i gonna say sex i think i was i didn't it doesn't because you're wearing the tights thing i would yeah, I would. I, sorry. Go without the leggings. I would. I would take the off. leggings off. So would to speak. You? Yeah. I would actually. Oh, maybe I'll do that. <laughs> tonight to award the Big Buzz Lifetime Achievement Award to the fantastic Olivia Nash, ladies and gentlemen. You got the big one, darling. Thank you, Robin. Here's me standing in the loo. <laughs> oh my God, I, I, I really, I, I know everybody says all this, I really don't know what to say, but honest to God, I don't. All I can say is just that I have been so proud to be involved with the best ball. Is, is my skirt down? I've been in the loo. <laughs> with the Big Buzz Award for quite a few years. And I am so proud of all the things that they have done, all the people that they have brought forth and uh, recognized their talent. And oh, I just don't know what to say. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. Olivia Nash. <laughs> Look at this woman go. We were dancing earlier. Wait, wait we were. Yabba dabba do. Yes, what? Nice. See what I got? What did you get? Lifetime achievement. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. Yes. Pinch yourself your hair. <laughs> oh Pinch her. <laughs> and now you'll say, oh my God, you need to lose weight, Olivia. No, I would never say such a thing yes, to a lady. Would no. Would. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. <laughs> Is it wonderful? It's it is beautiful. Cool. Have you ever received an award like that before? Never. Oh. So it is quite a nice moment. I, I have received, uh, I've received two or three beautiful awards from the Big Buzz, but I have never received a Lifetime Achievement Award. And what is Lifetime Achievement? It's wonderful. It's kind of an achievement in a lifetime. That's what it would be. <laughs> yeah, strictly speaking. Strictly speaking. Yeah. And, uh, all I can say is that I hope with the rest of my life, what's left, that I will continue to be able to uh, give something to the arts, uh, enjoy myself within the arts, but also all those wonderful young people and everything coming up, that they get what they deserve and have a good life within the arts as I have had. Yeah, because I would, I just want to pick up. I mean, it's, it's the same for a singer also. There are hundreds, thousands of singers and actresses and actors yes. who we don't see at awards like this, Absolutely. but they are following their dreams. their dreams. And they're not getting any money out of it. In fact, they're probably having to work many other jobs just to the sacrifice to follow the dream. Is the message still the same? Follow the dream. That, that's, yeah. that's, come on. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> follow, follow the, the dream. dream. Hi, I'm here with Pete. <laughs> Pete from the Love Dogs and Matt from the Love Dogs. This is the Love Dog R. Yeah, we are Pete Bennett and the Love Dogs. Pete's actually filming this. Pete's filming me as I'm filming him. That is actually quite cool, isn't it? Yep. Wow. It's 
pretty trippy. Now, let's talk about, first of all, not Big Brother, because that's boring. Let's talk about the band. Let's talk about the Love Dogs, man. When do the Love Dogs come to be? When do the Love come, come, come to be? Yeah, like when they start. Oh, crikey. Um, well, I came into, into about halfway through. I've only been involved since July. July? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the Love Dogs were formed... Ages ago, actually. Um, we, yeah, you know, the, um, the, 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 we, we were, actually, we made the name Peter Bennett and the Love Dogs <laughs> about, about six months ago, wasn't it? It was, you, you, you know, we never had a name. It was, I wasn't it, even there. I wasn't no, even we involved. Without, we used to have another band. <clears throat> well, they weren't the Love Dogs, really. But they, no, no. We, we was, it was called Pete, Perfect Pete at first, wasn't it? You were Perfect <laughs> Pete and the pop something. or the, the, <laughs> some, When you went into Big Brother, you had the, something anyway. You were, oh, like, yeah. dressed up a bit crazy and you had some band. But is this now, are you happier now with what you got now? Yeah, of course, mate. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Love Dogs. <laughs> Who is the songwriter? Who's the inspiration behind Pete Bennett and the Love Dogs? <laughs> is it Matt? We have got to go. But no, 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 it ain't really. It is me. I do the songwriting. Are you on air? Are you We're on air? Now, we? th Jeff's getting panicky. I think. Jeff's getting panicky. <laughs> Jeff's panicking! <laughs> don't panic! It's okay, Pete. Don't panic. I was getting scared there. I was getting scared as well. I need to my you? trousers. Can I hold you? Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Anyway, um, I really should watch you perform and then perhaps even talk to you afterwards. We haven't slept for like, this is yesterday. Wow. <laughs> three minutes, 32 seconds. Three minutes, 32 30 30 seconds. 30, the best three minutes, 32 seconds of your life. Tell us what the song is. Second Cosmonaut. 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 Yeah. Cosmonaut. Do it as like a four piece together. One, two, three. <laughs> Cosmonaut. <laughs> Gemma, have you had a good time? I have had a wonderful time. And a big thank you to the Big Buzz for inviting me over to present. I've had a ball. I've had a great time as well. I hope you guys have as well. And we hope to see you back for the Big Buzz Easy Jet Awards 2009. So from Gemma, from Robin, from everyone here at the Park Plaza in Antrim, that's good night from the ninth annual Big Buzz Awards. Next year's the 10th anniversary. How can they top this? I'm sure they can, but tonight has been brilliant. I've been Stuart McQuitty, you've been fantastic. Good night. How many celebrities can you fit into a lift? At the moment, five. Oh no, six. She scrubs up well. You play bass in the Dogs of Love. You play bass. And the winner is... Let's have a look. Stephanie!